Diamond cutting technology has changed a lot in its thousand years of history, with diamonds transforming from the simple table cut all the way down to this modern asher cut. The first mention of diamond cutting appears in an Indian text from the 13th century, with simple table cuts like this being the first known cut diamonds in history. Pretty much all the diamonds on the market at this time were from India, and they were mostly these pulky diamonds, which feature this sort of uncut look that follows the organic shape of the rough diamond. Things really got going with the advent of the continuous rotary motion tools in the 15th century, which allowed diamond cutters to grind facets into the diamonds rather than just cleaving them at their weakest points. Around the 16th century, newer cuts closer to the modern ones that we know and love today were popping up, like the rose-cut diamond, which is still popular today, which features this sort of dome shape and diamond-shaped facets. The 18th century is where we get old mine-cut diamonds, which were essentially early versions of the now popular brilliant-cut diamonds. They feature more and smaller facets, and most noticeably, a pavilion-based design, where the bulk of the weight is at the bottom of the diamond, which allows more light to return up to the top, and give the diamond its signature sparkle. The 18th century is also where we get marquee cut diamonds, named after King Louis XV's mistress and the shape of her body. Old European cut diamonds came soon after, a more precise and round version of its old mine predecessor, thanks to the invention of the brooding machine in the 1870s. The motorized diamond saw was invented in the 1900s, which paved the way for brilliant cut diamonds as we know them today. In 1902, Joseph Asher invented the Asher cut diamond, and other modern cuts like the emerald, oval, princess, and radiant appeared throughout the mid-20th century. 